Good day everyone and especially to Sir Robert. Our group is here to present our research study entitled A Mobile Gas Monitoring System Using Arduino Uno. So, let's proceed. So, the researchers who conducted the study were the following. Myself, Marlon Pinpin, Justin Ray Sadia, Jordan Martin, Jason Lyon Asakto Vibio, and lastly, David Manuel Villarreasa. Now, let's move on to the reasons on why we conducted the study in the first place. The reason we conducted the study is due to the fire related incidents that has been frequently happening all over the country and according to the BFP report of 2022, around 13,029 incidents were reported or posted from January 1 to December 26 in that year alone, which is 13% higher compared to its previous year. Following the report are the common causes of such things or the causes of fire related incidents like faulty electrical wirings or electrical overloading, cigarette butts, flammable chemicals, and unattended cooking, in which methane and carbon monoxide can be found. So, our aim is to develop a mobile Arduino based gas monitoring system that will help in aiding and preventing these fire related incidents from happening. However, in conducting the studies, there would be gaps that needed to be answered. For example, the, far, the smart fire detection system with early alerting utilizing machine learning which was proposed by Muhammad in 2017. In an effort to close the gap in communication between fire services department and identifying probable house fires, which focuses the study of reducing the likelihood of false alarm using a machine learning and integrated sensors detecting variables such as heat, light, and smoke. The proposed study was also deemed as trustworthy by the authors as well. So in recent studies, the use of IoT in addressing the issue of redundancy in fire detection were focused on fire outbreaks that could be caused by the, by the gas leakages, which also means detecting the presence of combustible gas and sending an alert would ensure that these concerning fire outbreaks almost always get to the designated person and services. Now, let's move on to our SOPs, which to be discussed with Jason Lyon Sacto Vibio, David Manuel Villarreasa, and Justin Ray Sadia. The effectiveness of the study the researcher assembled the product to know the efficiency and the capability of the study. By assembling the product, the materials that the researcher uses are LCD module, MQ2 sensor, and Arduino Uno. LCD module is a flat panel device that can display the number of LPG gas that the product will detect. Next is MQ2 sensor. It's basically a sensor that can detect the smoke or the LPG, LPG gas. Among the three devices, the Arduino Uno is the main device of this product. It is a type of microcontroller that usually used for programming the system. Next is the jump wires. Jump wires are the important thing material because it can connect the device to device and a chassis base also known as frame that can be seen under the car is an important thing also because it is the foundation of the car controller the driver module gives a high power to the motor by using a small voltage signal from a control system and last the controller and the battery it is an essential material to enable the device using battery and controller all the mater materials and devices that the researcher uses can be found or acquired in local stores such as Maker Lab Electronics. Here in our research question number two, which is the maximum distance and rate of detection of the chassis in moving and constant states. Here in table 2.1, which is the rate of detection in a constant states, the distance, uh, the distance covered by the chassis in constant space is measured in 0.5 meters, 1 meters, 1.5 meters, 2 meters, and to get the interval time, the average interval time, we use three trial. <laughs> so in 0.5 meters, the first trial that we get is 1.9 seconds, second trial is 1.5 seconds, fourth trial, third trial is 1.4 seconds, which average 1.6 seconds. 
in 1 meters distance is in the is 1 2.3 seconds 1.8 seconds 2.1 seconds which average 2.07 seconds in 1.5 distance the interval time is 2.7 seconds 2.9 seconds 2.6 seconds which average 2.73 seconds in 2 meters um, distance the first trial is 3.3 seconds second trial is 3.4 seconds and third trial is 3.3 seconds which average 3.33 seconds <coughs> now we see that the as the distance increases in constant state the, the average interval time is also increases now let's proceed in table 2.2 which is a rate of detection in the moving states naman. Here, just like in table 2.1, is all is uh, that the, the distance covered by the chases in moving speed is is 1.5 meters, 1 meters, 1.5 meters, and 2 meters. Just like in table 2.2.1. Two, we also used um, three trial to get the average interval time. In 1.5 uh, in point 0.5 meters distance, the first trial is 9.9 .9 seconds, second trial is 1.1 seconds, and third trial is 7 seconds, which average 9 seconds. In 10, uh, 1 meters distance is 1.6 seconds, 1.4 seconds, 1.5 seconds to get an average of 1.5 seconds. The 1.5 meters is 2, two seconds, 2 seconds, 1.9 seconds to get an average of 1.97 seconds. So here, we can also see the pattern. That as the distance covered by the chassis, chassis increasing, the interval average interval time naman is also increasing. So here's the interpretation as in our research. As shown in table 2.1, the maximum distance that the chassis, chassis can reach is about two, 2 meters, with an average time it takes ranging from 1.3 seconds up to 3.4 seconds, in constant or fixed uh, position. Looking at the table 2.2, the maximum distance is, is infin infinitely increasing as long as you are in the 2 meter radius of the controller, <laughs> with an average time ranging from 0.9 seconds up to 2.9 seconds of a movies uh, movie states so here both um, in movie both moving and constant state is we can conclude that the uh, they, that the they are both uh, proportional to each other that as the distance increases the interval time is also increases now we're going to talk about the next statement of the problem that we have in our research which is, what is the value of gases in terms of consistency? And the two gases that we have in our re research is LPG meth value or methane and uh, carbon monoxide. These two independent variables, we're going to determine the difference on them, them using the method called T-test. Now, in this table, you can see that the value of our ba variables written in the, in the letters PPR PPR stands for parts per million. Parts per million sim simply just a measurement of mass of containment or containment in such matter like liquid or gases. In our situation, we're talking about gases. So we use this value in our variables to in our variables to actually determine, determine the containment in the ga in the ga gases in the air. Now in our table, based on our table, table three, that table three that we have in our screen, the calculated p critical value is 2.13132, and the uh, t statistical value is negative eight eight point zero six, which indicates that the stati statistical value is gre greater than the t critical value. Therefore, the null hypo hypothesis which stated that the consistency between the two gases are the same must be rejected while the alternative hypothesis that that state that consistency between two gases or not not the same must be accepted 
in conclusion in conclusion which in the which independent then t tita's conclusion by by the researcher rejected the, the null hypothesis it can be deduced deduce the meta inconsistency consi significance consistency is significant significantly higher than the carbon monoxide consistency when there when it comes to monitoring gases emission in our, in our environment so now let's move on to our conclusion the number of regulated in the philippines has been steadily increasing in recent years according to the bureau of fire protection or the bfp these figures increased by nearly 13 percent over the previous years the main issue regarding this incident is the lack of awareness is the lack of awareness and other factors such as disregarding the fire and safety precaution, especially in urban areas such as Tondo, Manila. The experiment conducted by the researchers shows, shows that the Arduino-based gas monitoring system is an effective device in determining the gas value of methane and carbon monoxide within the surroundings. Furthermore, it was evident how fast it can monitor places from point to point with the chassis rubbing around the place. Therefore, in conclusion, this product will not only be helpful in monitoring gas emission in our surroundings but also a safety precaution in preventing fire-related incidents from happening in our country. So the, we, what we recommend for the future research is incorporating more sensor, not just limited to LPG and carbon dioxide. They can also explore other gases that can cause fire for more accurate data regarding gas emission. And also, the overall design of our device is not just high of quality, but overhaul. So, other researcher, the future researcher can be creative in their designing their own devices. Another thing is we are using LCD as a medium. But there are also SMS gateway that so it should be more accessible and can send a wide range of information to a large group of people. Furthermore, the study itself is somewhat incomplete. <laughs> So, what we recommend is a further in-depth testing of the product, such as how fast would the chances accelerate from point to point, or the percentage of this gas's emission from hatching fire, and the overall efficiency and capacity of the product, while also pertaining to strange variables such as height of things, other gases, and other things related to the study itself.